All right, we're going to move on now into the abdominal pelvic cavity. So, following along there on your anatomy study guide, I'm going to take a look at some features and let me bring up a uh, view for you. All right, so again, your abdominal pelvic cavity includes all of the internal space beneath the diaphragm. And then from there, all the way from up here, all the way down here into the, uh, the pelvis. So you have, that's really just one big space with the uh, diaphragm up there on top. So what divides the abdominal cavity from the pelvic cavity? Again, it's really just one continuous space. But, um, you know, right here, you've kind of got that rim from your uh, pelvic bones right around in there. So everything down in the bowl of the pelvis would be considered the pelvic cavity. And then the things above that up in here up to the diaphragm would be your abdominal cavity. And then together they form the abdominal pelvic cavity, as you guys might imagine. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at some features here. Kind of zoom in. And I am going to, as I've done before, I'm going to dissect off these ribs so I don't, and part of our sternum there, so I don't accidentally click on things. Nice to have that on there, though, just to see where how things are located relative to each other. Really gives you a good feel for how all these things are interconnected. And I'm going to go ahead and strip off the diaphragm there. Okay, so up here in your, mainly in your right upper quadrant, but also extending over into the left, left upper quadrant, if you remember those terms. Of course, that is your liver. And that little gray structure there in the center that I just highlighted is a ligament that connects the two parts of the liver. And I'll rotate this around so you can see, you know, the liver extends pretty far back. You know, over here on the right-hand side, you know, it extends very, uh, very much in a posterior direction towards the back of the body and uh, wraps itself around. So that's a uh, very big organ. All right. And if you look right here, let me deselect that. This little green structure you see right there, that is your gallbladder. The gallbladder uh, stores a substance called bile, which is very important for your ability to digest and absorb fats that you take in in your, in your diet. If you've ever known anybody who's had their gallbladder removed or they're having gallbladder problems, they have to avoid uh, or limit their greasy foods that they take in because they have big time problems with digesting fats. So that's your gallbladder. And, um, kind of rotate it around so you guys can get some various views there. It's on the inferior surface of the liver, and you can also consider it maybe a little bit posterior, eh, maybe a little bit posterior, because a portion of the liver extends in a more anterior direction to the gallbladder. If you were going to use a directional term to describe the location of the gallbladder, to me it's better to say it's on the inferior surface there of the liver. All right, so let's actually get rid of the liver and the gallbladder so we can see some things underneath there. Remember how earlier I said the inferior vena cava and the aorta actually extend down into the abdominal pelvic cavity? So there they are, the big... Let's see my pen right in here. doesn't look like it. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. If I want to draw on the screen, it helps if I have the pen turned on instead of the eraser. I'm still learning some of these, some of this uh, equipment is new to me recently. Um, highlighting there, let me bring up a brighter pen. So right there, big blue blood vessel. That is the inferior vena cava where it extends down into the abdominal cavity. And then over here, the big thick red blood vessel. That is the um, abdominal portion of the aorta. All 
Okay, hang on. All right, all these technology things are wonderful when they work and frustrating when they uh, give you headaches, but moving on here. Uh, all right, so this big pink organ you see here that's mainly extending over into the left upper quadrant, guess what? That's your stomach. Um, that's pretty easy to remember. And then superior to that, if we kind of zoom in here, I'm going to deselect the stomach, but right in there, there's our little, oops, deselect all that right there. That's your esophagus, you know, that has extended through the thoracic cavity and now uh, goes through an opening in the diaphragm and now is connecting to this uh, superior portion of the stomach. So you can see a little bit of that in the abdominal cavity as well. All right, and then let me strip off the stomach here. We'll get rid of it. And so posterior to the stomach, right in here, this yellowish brown organ you see there, um, mainly sitting posterior to the stomach again. Remember how I said things that look kind of yellowish and bumpy like that are usually glands that secrete substances? Well, that is your pancreas that I'm highlighting there in blue for you. The pancreas is a gland. It produces a lot of your digestive enzymes and squirts them into the, the first section of your small intestine where a lot of your digestion takes place, most of your digestion takes place. And uh, the pancreas also produces um, a few hormones, including insulin, which I'm sure many of you have heard about before. Insulin goes into your bloodstream and it helps control your blood sugar levels. And you'll learn a lot more about that when you study the endocrine system in the second semester of anatomy and physiology. Okay, but that's where your pancreas is located. And let's see, I'm going to I'm going to stop this video lecture here and we'll pick up with some more of the abdominopelvic cavity features in the next video clip.